This is the 2009 Fountain 38 Express Cruiser. And here's a good shot of this boat on the lift and give you a good feel for the hull sides. Just absolutely beautiful. Now this is the only Fountain 38 Express Cruiser that was ever made that had a black bottom. Usually they're white right there. This one is black. It's not bottom paint. It comes from the factory that way. But it just presents beautifully while in the water. And I'll just walk you up this side to give you a feel. And then if I sneak around the side, and here's a good view of the Bravo 3 drives. Also, you can see your Latham steering, your trim tabs. Try to zoom in as much as possible. And then if we move to the top side, it'll give you a good shot of the swim platform from off the boat. And stepping aboard, I'll just give you a quick look at the top side. And starting our tour here in the aft, the first thing you'll notice is just a huge swim platform. It is actually two levels and just plenty of room for everybody when you're anchored off the beach, getting in and getting off the boat. Then if I go ahead and I open up here, it'll show you just a ton of storage. Right now he's using it for fenders and lines and whatnot, but just a great deal of storage here in the aft. And I move to the port side. You'll see here your fresh water shower. It's got hot and cold to rinse off the beach when you get on the boat. And then moving slightly ahead of that, you're going to see your fresh water fill plus your dockside water hookup. And moving through the entryway door, if I flip to the starboard side, you're just going to see a giant U lounge. Plenty of seating for all your guests here in the cockpit, all surrounding a great table. And you'll look at the vinyl in this just in fantastic condition and then of course within easy reach are cup holders and then if I go ahead and I flip back to the port side you're gonna see just a very large wet bar and with the wet bar opened up you'll see it's all held up with a gas assisted hinge you'll see two sinks also running water and then if you go down below you're gonna see an ice maker up above the ice maker, nice counter space plus drink holders. And then if I go below the sinks, you're just going to see great storage. Plus you're going to see your battery switches plus your fuses. Fountain just does a very nice job with this whole wet bar area. And then moving forward in this Fountain 38, you'll see a great lounge seating for one or just regular seating for two or three. And it's within great proximity to the captain to keep them company. And then if I go ahead and turn around, you're going to see the captain and first mate seat. Now these are electric fall away bolster seats. And I'll give you an idea of what that means. If I go ahead and I push this button, the seat comes right up. And then if I go ahead and put the bolster down. You're able to stand there comfortably with plenty of support, just great seats. And then if we go ahead 
and turn facing forward that'll bring us to our actual helm and let's start here with this GPS 5208 map and here's a view of the radar screen you'll see right there it's working beautifully if I go ahead and hit home bring you to your charts and there's a list of the charts you can select and there's navigation and that's a great example of the 3D overlay in this chart. You can have a regular standard chart or select one of the many other charts, however you'd like to configure your GPS. And that'll move us down to our vessel view. And here's a shot of this Merc Cruiser vessel view with the engines running. And this is going to give you a complete picture of these 496 mags. You're going to get the health of the engines all the specs, everything you're going to need is in these SmartCraft gauges to run your boat well and efficiently. And then laid out all around your vessel view is all your switches and gauges to run this boat. Now these shifters as well as all the gauges you see are Lavorsi shifters and gauges, just very high quality. And then over by the ignition, you're going to see your remote control for your stereo. And also you'll notice all the switches are within easy reach of the captain. And all the gauges are just in great sight lines. And that brings us down to our cabin. And let's start here with this very nice couch and table. Of course this all reduces down to another berth. And then if I go ahead and I open up here, you have a nice storage cupboard and right now the current owner has all the owner's manuals for everything stored in there. And if I move slightly towards the aft, it's going to bring you to your entertainment system. And then if I open up down below that, all your ship systems, clearly labeled, very organized. If I peek around the corner here, you're going to see your heat and AC controls. And if I flip around, that will give you your galley. And I'll move a little closer. And you're going to see storage in the aft wall and also the forward wall. Also more storage, then you're going to have your microwave oven, down below your one burner stove, large sink, plenty of counter space surrounding it, then down below you're going to see your refrigerator, and once again, more storage. If I move forward, that'll bring us to our master. You can see this master cordons off with this privacy curtain give you a look around and then here in the corner if I open up you're gonna have a cedar line closet and if I go ahead and I head towards the aft that'll bring us to our mid cabin and you'll see just a very large mid cabin Plenty of room for gas, and that will lead us to our marine head. You'll see it's quite a sizable marine head, Corian countertop, storage, and of course this all converts into a shower, but a nice size marine head. So let's go ahead and lift up this hatch. And now's the time to give you some shots of the engine room and engines. And here's a good look at these 496 mags. These are HOs. And as you can see, just a very neat, clean, organized engine room. It is a very lightly used, well-maintained Fountain 38. And if I go ahead and I step into the engine room, access, of course you got your batteries, and here's a good shot of your Kohler generator. And now's the time of the video where I give a condition report 
and I let the new owners know opportunities that would make this boat even better. In the cabin, it is safe to say there are just no opportunities to make this boat better. It is very clean. This is a very low hour 2009 boat kept on a lift, covered, and everywhere you look, it is just absolutely beautiful in this cabin. Now if I move to the top side once again, just take a look at this vinyl. I mean, it is just in about as good as condition as you'd want everywhere you look and that goes true for the fiberglass the only opportunities I see for the next owner are if you look up here on these metal fixtures surrounding this light there seems to be a little rust on this one and a little chipped on this one someone could sand them and repaint them or just replace the fixtures not a very big deal and then when the owner bought this new because this is a one owner boat, it had these spider cracks in it right here. There's just a, a, just a handful of spider cracks right there. But looking around the rest of the boat, you do not see one thing a new owner could do to improve it. It is just absolutely beautiful everywhere you look.